Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel, GK Today YouTube. Now we have started a new channel, Civils Academy. So if you find it relevant, you can subscribe to it. Now let's start. Which international organization has released the report titled COVID-19 and Tourism? So recently. UNCTAD released this report. What is UNCTAD? It is United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. So what are the main points of this report? So as for this report, the world's tourism sector could lose at least 1.2 trillion US dollars or approximately 1.5% of the global GDP because of this pandemic situation. So name of report is COVID-19 and tourism. It was released by UNCTAD. What are the main findings that the tourism sector could lose at least 1.2 trillion US dollars or 1.5% of global GDP. Now UNCTAD is a permanent intergovernmental body and it was established in 1964. The headquarters of UNCTAD is in Geneva. It also published a report trade and development report. Apart from that UNCTAD also published a report titled world investment report as per that report India is the world's ninth largest recipient of FDI. What is FDI? It is foreign direct investment. A place called Nemo that was in news recently is located on the banks of which river? So this place was in news because of the visit of Prime Minister and this place is on the banks of Indus River and this place is in the Union Territory of Ladakh and it is surrounded by Janskar range. Recently, it was in news because of the Prime Minister visited this place and BRO that is border road organization is constructing a road from Padum in Janskar Valley to Nimu. Now what is BRO? It is border road organization and it was formed in 1960 and it is under Ministry of Defense. The headquarters of BRO is in New Delhi and Presently, the Director General of BRO is Lieutenant General Harpal Singh. Which financial institution has recently joined the Central Banks and Supervisors Network for greening the financial system? So recently, ADB, that is Asian Development Bank, joined this network. What is this NGFS? It is a group of central banks and supervisors which will share the best practices about the risk management in financial sector. So it was launched in 2017 and it was launched at Paris One Climate Summit. Now if we talk about Asian Development Bank, it was established in 1966. The headquarters is in Manila in Philippines. Presently Japan and USA are the largest shareholder of Asian Development Bank and Japan and USA are followed by China and India. India is a founding member of Asian Development Bank and India is the top borrower of Asian Development Bank. Which mutual fund house manages the Bharat bond ETF that is exchange traded fund. So it is managed by Edelvis mutual fund. It managed Bharat ETF and recently it was in news because it formally launched the second series of ETF. In December 2019, the first series was launched. What is Bharat ETF? It is India's first corporate bond exchange traded fund. So the objective of this fund is to create additional shows of funding for CPSUs. What is CPSU? That means central PSUs and for other central public finance institutions. So this Bharat bond ETF is going to invest in AAA rated papers of these public sector entities. And this fund is managed by Adelvis Mutual Fund. Dharam Chakkar Prayavatan is famous celebration of which religion? So it is related to Buddhism. Recently, it was in news because recently the culture ministry along with IBC that is International Buddhist Confederation celebrated Dharam Chakra Day on 4th of July. What is the meaning of this term Dharam Chakra Parivartan? It means turning of the wheel of Dharma. So why this is celebrated? It is celebrated because it commemorates the Gautam Buddha's first discourse to his five disciples in Sarnath. Now, 4th of July is also celebrated as the Independence Day of USA. 
what is the name of e-governance platform which has online project monitoring system. So the name of this platform is e-samiksha and recently it was in news because the cabinet secretary ordered the revamp of this e-samiksha platform. Who is present cabinet secretary? Rajiv Gaba is the present cabinet secretary. What is e-samiksha? It is a real-time online system for monitoring the projects and decisions taken by the union government. Now apart from this project monitoring system, few other systems were also in use. One is MIEWS. So this is a web portal and it has been launched by Ministry of Food Processing and Industries. Why this has been launched? It has been launched to monitor the price of TOP. What is TOP? It is tomato, onion, potato. So this portal is going to monitor the price of these commodities and if the prices are going too high then the intervention will be provided through Operation Greens. What is the full form of this MIEWS? It is Market Intelligence and Early Warning System. So this is a initiative of Ministry of Food Processing and Industries. Apart from that recently MEITY that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology launched automated real-time PSP. What is PSP? That is Performance Smart Board. So these smart boards were launched for the monitoring and these boards will act as a single window assess for the center, state or district authorities to ensure proper implementation of various projects. Phobos is the biggest natural satellite of which planet. So we have already covered this question in our yesterday's news section and right answer is Mars. Why it was in news recently? Because MOM that is Mars Orbiter Mission of ISRO has recently captured the images of Phobos and it is the closest and biggest moon of Mars. That means this Phobos is the closest and biggest moon of Mars. Now recently Mars was in news as NASA that is the space agency of USA named its Mars rover as Perseverance. So it is the rover of NASA for Mars mission. Apart from that China named its Mars mission as Tianwen-1. Recently one more Mars mission was in use and it is Hope Probe. Answer in comment box it is associated to which West Asian country. Which Indian state has banned the sale of dog meat and commercial import and trading of dogs. So this decision was taken by Nagaland. Now Nagaland was also in news because of Hornbill Festival. Apart from that the state was also in news because of Mong Mong Harvest Festival. Answer in comment box which tribe in Nagaland celebrate this Mong Mong Harvest Festival. Nagaland was also in news as recently the entire Nagaland was declared as disturbed area for six more months and this has been done as per the provisions of AFSPA. What is AFSPA? It is Armed Forces Special Powers Act. What is the name of national award winning Bollywood choreographer who passed away recently? So her name was Saroj Khan. She passed away recently. She was popularly known as Master G in Bollywood. What is the name of free video conferencing application which has been launched by Reliance Geo? So the name of this application is Geo Meet. Now it has been launched to give competition to the popular video conferencing platforms like Zoom. Now I have already uploaded a special video on this topic on Civil Academy channel. You can watch it if you find it interesting. Who has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of France? So recently the previous Prime Minister Edouard Philippe resigned and the new Prime Minister is Jean Castex. President of France is Emmanuel Macron. Now apart from him recently few other political personalities were in news. Recently Mikhail Misustin became the Prime Minister of Russia. Now Russia was in news because of its constitutional amendments. Russia was also in news because of Ambarnaya River. Ambarnaya River was in news because of oil spill. Apart from that recently Lazarus Chakwera was in news. Lazarus Chakwera became the new president of Malawi. In addition to that recently Volkan Bozkir was in news. Answer in comment box Volkan Bozkir is from which country? Recently he was in news because he has been elected as the president of 75th session of UNGA that is United Nations General Assembly. Which country has become the first major economy to shut down coal and nuclear power? So this decision was taken by Germany and it has decided to shut down the coal power plants by 
2038 and nuclear power plants by the end of 2022 now germany was also in news because of hezbollah so recently germany declared hezbollah as a terrorist organization now what is hezbollah it is a shia islamist political military organization which is quite active in lebanon so now it has been declared as a terrorist organization by germany it is active in lebanon which country has the world's largest elephant population so the background of news has already been covered and it was in news because of the death of elephants and the country is botswana botswana is in africa and it is a landlocked country and this botswana has the largest elephant population recently it was in news because of the death of more than 300 elephants and this incident of elephants death held in okavango delta of botswana now the 70% of this country botswana is covered by kalahari desert as per world bank's classification india is retained in which category of income group so world bank classify the countries on the basis of their income level and there are four income levels and india is in lower middle income category it is important to note that this classification is updated every year on 1st of july and the method that is followed for this classification is known as atlas method coal india has partnered with which psu to form a jvc that is joint venture company to develop green power so for this purpose coal india partnered with nlc india and in this proposed joint venture company both organizations will have 50 50 partnership what is the name of the first social media super application which was launched in our country recently so the name of this application is elements and it was launched by vice president m venkaiya naidu so this is first social media super application and it has been created by more than 1000 it professionals so it aims to combine the features of popular social media applications and this will try to present all in one single unified application which indian state has signed a mou with uk india business council to promote the business relationship between india and uk so the state is maharashtra now recently uk was also in news because of gayatri kumar so recently gayatri kumar has been appointed as india's next high commissioner to uk and she is going to be the successor of ruchi khansham so recently m i d c has signed a mou with uk india business council what is m i d c it is maharashtra industrial development corporation so it is the investment and industrial infrastructure development agency of government of maharashtra the tops junior scheme which was in use recently is associated to which union ministry scheme is associated to ministry of youth affairs and sports what is tops it is target olympic podium scheme and this scheme is for junior athletes that means it will provide the facilities to young athletes for 2024 olympic games and for 2028 olympic games which union ministry along with atal innovation mission has launched digital india atmanirbhar bharat app innovation challenge so this has been launched by meity that is ministry of electronics and information technology what is the idea behind this the idea is to build a ecosystem for the indian applications so in the first phase this challenge will identify the potential indian apps that are being used and that are capable of becoming world class app so first phase is about identification that which apps are doing well and which can be the world class app if given adequate support the second phase will focus on developing new apps so the first phase is related to existing apps and second is related to new app what is the main purpose behind this innovation challenge the purpose is to create a ecosystem for creating indigenous applications lindan who announced his retirement is associated to which sports so he is associated to badminton and he is from china recently he announced his retirement so these were the most important questions of today's quiz now we are going to cover important news feel free to skip it at your own risk if you do not like the format so first news is dehing patkai wildlife sanctuary now recently it was in news because 
the Assam state government has decided to upgrade the status of this wildlife sanctuary as national park. Now this is in Assam. The chief minister of Assam is Sarbanan Sonowal. Next is Rewa Ultra Mega Solar Plant. So this will be inaugurated by the Prime Minister and it is 750 megawatt solar power plant and it is in Madhya Pradesh. Now what is so special about this power plant? So far it is the largest single site solar power project in Asia. Next is Sanskrit Vidyalaya. So recently this Vidyalaya has been inaugurated in Nepal and this was done with the help of India who is India's ambassador to Nepal. Present Indian ambassador is Vinay Mohan Katara. Next is balance of payment during 2019-20. So recently the data in this context was released by RBI. What is RBI? It is Reserve Bank of India. So as per the recent report, the CAD that is current account deficit narrowed from 2.1% to 0.9%. Now what is CAD? It is current account deficit. So if you do not know the difference between current account, capital account, balance of payment and all these terms then please watch the economy lecture on Civil Academy channel. Next is Sakthin Wildlife Sanctuary. So recently this wildlife sanctuary was in use as China had made territorial claims over this wildlife sanctuary and this wildlife sanctuary is in Bhutan. Let me just show you the map of this wildlife sanctuary. So it is in Bhutan and it is on the eastern side of Bhutan. Recently China has claimed that this is the part of their territory. Next is first state in India to have LPG gas connections in every household. So Himachal Pradesh became the first state in our country to have LPG gas connections in every household. Next is Intajar Aapka. So it is a social media campaign which has been started by the Madhya Pradesh Tourism Board to promote the tourism in the state by inviting people to visit the state. Next is winter diesel in Ladakh. So recently IOC that is Indian Oil Corporation has sought approval from DZQA. What is DZQA? It is Directorate General of Quality Assurance for the winter diesel. Now answer in comment box this DZQA is associated to which ministry? Now coming back to this winter diesel what is so special about it? Actually it is a specialized fuel for high altitude regions. In high altitude area and in low temperature areas the regular diesel became unusable. Therefore we need winter diesel to function properly in such areas and that's why Indian Oil Corporation has sought approval from DZQA and that is why this topic was in news. Next is FOP that is Friends of Police. So recently the services of FOP were suspended in Tamil Nadu after the death of P. Jairaj and his son J. Benix. So what is FOP? It is a community policing initiative and recently its services were suspended after the custodial death of these two individuals in Tamil Nadu. Next is 6 for justice. So recently Indian government blocked 40 websites of this pro Khalistani group SFJ. What are pro Khalistani group? They are demanding a separate nation as Khalistan and they want that Punjab should be declared as a separate independent nation as Khalistan. Next is Kisan Rath. So it is an app which has been launched by Agriculture Ministry and it has been developed by NIC that is National Informatics Center. So this will facilitate farmers and traders to identify the suitable transport facilities for the movement of farm products. Next is Karan 4. So it is a sugarcane variety that has better sugar recovery and it has replaced the traditional varieties in Uttar Pradesh. Now in the context of sugarcane there is FRP. Now your homework is to read about the difference between FRP and MSP. Next is Global E-Waste Monitor 2020 report. So recently this report was released and this report is related to e-waste. And as per this report India is on third position in terms of e-waste while China is on top position. Recently India's first e-waste clinic was set up in Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. Next is India First Life Insurance recently partnered with Bank of Baroda to offer COVID-19 come hospital cash cover facilities for the Bank of Baroda credit card holders. Next is CBSC Facebook partnership. So recently 
CBSC tied up with Facebook to introduce the curriculum on digital safety. What is CBSC? It is Central Board of Secondary Education. So Facebook will launch a free and comprehensive training program for teachers and students as a part of this digital safety initiative. Next is Diana Award 2020. So recently, Freya Thakral, a 13-year-old girl, was in news because of this award as she has won this award for her Recycler app. What is the purpose of this app? This app can connect users with waste handlers. So this will help the rag pickers in Delhi. Next is LEAD. So recently, Delhi government launched this LEAD platform and it is e-learning platform and it has been launched by Delhi government. What is the full form of LEAD? It is learning through e-resources made accessible for Delhi. Next is Call India NLC. So we have already covered this. Intazar Aapka campaign was already covered. Next is Overdraft saving the Indian saver. So former RBI governor Urjit Patel has written this book and it is titled as Overdraft saving the Indian saver. And this will be released in the later part of this month. Next is Mission Vriksha Open 2020. So it is a tree plantation drive that has been started by Uttar Pradesh government. Next is South Africa's Men's Cricketer of the Year. So recently, QDK, that is Quinton de Kock, was named as Men's Cricketer of the Year by the Cricket South Africa. So these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Now homework. So first homework is what is the difference between FRP and MSP. Second homework is about Bharat Stage 6. So these are emission norms. And third homework is read about Wildlife Protection Act. So that was all for the day. Thank you.